guys welcome back to another video welcome back to another vlog in today's vlog we have a lot of stuff fun stuff going on i wanted to start off by doing a little lululemon haul um i've done a few of these on my channel before and i picked up some new things for fall in this beautiful new color i'm so beyond excited about and then also um the belt bag that sold out last year in this beautiful shirling is back in stock so i wanted to um, let you guys know that falls here fall is definitely here it's october somehow it's october i'm not mad about it i just bought my christmas tree i as you guys know i moved um in march and so this is my first christmas in my new home my first time decorating a house for christmas and i went all out like i already bought my christmas tree i bought some christmas decorations my christmas decor this year is completely different than anything i've ever done so i'm really excited about that but it's still fall and i have been loving all of the warmer tones you guys know brown is like my absolute favorite color and lululemon released a ton of brown and what i really love about lululemon as of recently in the past few years they've created really cute and designed really cute pieces that are super functional amazing for training and working out it's like literally one of the only workout brands i wear to work out but they're also really cute so you can wear it to work out and you can also wear it you know day to day blue lemon is kindly sponsoring this portion of today's video i've worked with them a few times on my channel before and i absolutely love working with them it's literally a dream come true because i remember in high school i would save all of my money to buy lululemon um align leggings and now i get to work with them they did send me some products but i did spend most of this i bought a hundred percent myself and then also um it was just my boyfriend's birthday and i did buy him three things from lululemon and he absolutely loved all of it. He was obsessed with all of it. And he said he hasn't stopped wearing them. You guys know Lululemon. They are Canadian founded brands. So that makes me love them even more. They really do offer the best athletic clothing for training. No matter what you're doing. Running, yoga, anything. Like they've got you covered. They have a few different styles. A few different fabrics. And if you go into a store or even online. They can help you figure out the exact perfect style and material that works best for you i love all of them they're all buttery soft but i'll get into my absolute favorites um a little bit more and so like i said for the fall time they have all of these delicious colors like i bought a vest this delicious vest I guess I'll just start with this, okay? Okay, so this is the Wonder Cropped Puffer Vest. I saw this on the Lululemon, I think either Instagram or website. And as soon as I saw it come in stock, I literally checked every day. I bought it immediately. It is in the perfect color. It also comes with a hood, but as you can see, they're detachable. And then you also don't have to have it cinched. And then what I also love about it is that all of the, like, the little Lululemon logos are tone on tone. So isn't that so cute? But I actually bought it to go on top of all of my new brown clothes. So I went a little crazy. I bought every single thing they had in my size in this color. It is the color Roasted Brown, and I placed two separate orders because they kept releasing things in this color, and I kept being like, yep, I need it. So the first thing I picked up is the Align tank top. These are my absolute favorite workout tank top or even not when I'm working out. The Align material is super buttery, soft and breathable and it truly just is the most flattering tank top. And then to go with that, I was actually wearing these before. To go with that, I got the Instill leggings in the same roasted brown color, 25 inch length and i am a size four in all of lululemon i'm a size four for reference i'm normally a small and size four fits perfectly um so i got these i find these just the most flattering leggings with the details i've said this before and again i love the tone on tone like i said i love the align tank top but i wanted to test out the instill tank top so i picked up this instill tank top and it has the same really beautiful flattering details on the tank top this one does go a little bit longer than the align tank top but it is still just as nice and you guys think might think i'm crazy that I bought all of this in the same color, but you don't understand. Like, I don't know if it's coming across how beautiful this color is. And then I also got, okay, look how cute these pants are. So these are groove pants, but the bottom is flared. Okay, you, you guys know how much I love my flared Lululemon pants, but there's a slit. 
there's a slit on the side so your shoe pokes through so these are a little bit long lululemon does offer complimentary um hemming so i'm going to go and get these hemmed to the perfect length they are just so cute i love this little detail on the side this you're not ready for one of my favorite things from lululemon is the define jacket and i have it in black and i wear it all i actually have two in black because i love it so much it just really snatches your waist it gives you like be beautiful hourglass look and they had it in roasted brown so you guys know i had 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 to pick it up if you guys didn't know this is actually a hair tie if you need an emergency hair tie the align tank top i get a size four um like I would recommend sizing, uh, I'm always a size 4 Lululemon, but these do I find run a little bit small. And then these are the Nulu material, which is my favorite, one of my favorite materials from Lululemon. And they have a flare on the side, so they're a little bit long on me. I would ideally like if they came to here. Look how cute that is. So I'm going to go and get them hemmed because Lululemon offers complimentary hemming on their um, pants and their clothes so look how cute that is if that were to just go to there with the little hem on the side are you kidding and these are the most flattering pants they like really just snatch you in in all the right places but i did like i said get a ton of other stuff in this color so i'm going to show you guys that so these are the insta leggings these are my favorite leggings from lululemon they're so flattering with all these like little lines and the color again is just so perfect and then this is the insta tank it actually goes a little bit longer i just had it tucked in but this is how it looks and it has the same really flattering lines on the side okay and the best part is that they also had a defined jacket in this matching color literally snatches you in it makes your waist so tiny it's just the most flattering jacket so i had to pick it up in the matching color because i bought a vest from lululemon and i wanted to have like a delicious brown base this is perfect. I'm obsessed with this. I will be living in this until further notice. This is the Wonder Puff cropped vest in the color trench. It looks good with this brown underneath, but I think because it's the color of like a trench coat, it would also look really good with an all black outfit underneath or even with jeans. It's a very versatile color. It doesn't have any strong undertones. It's very neutral. It also has a hood, but I detached it. What's so cute about this vest also is that you can cinch it and make it more of like a puffer vest in the back. Okay, and then these are the pants that I've been seeing all over TikTok. It's actually what inspired me to go on the website, and then I saw all the brown stuff. Okay, so this is actually what motivated me, this and the vest, to place this big order. These are the Align Wide Leg Pants. The length is 31 inches, and they are the perfect, you're gonna see when I try them on, the perfect wide leg pants. The material is the same amazing Align material, super buttery soft. These are the comfiest pants in the world. So these actually kind of look like similar to like, maybe like like my dress pants that I wear with my blazer you could totally wear these with a blazer um, but they're so incredibly comfy so I like I said wide leg and they have pockets okay so these are the wide leg align pants and I swear I've never felt anything comfier in my life they have the amazing fabric that is so buttery soft but they are like a wider leg but they still make you look really put together they almost kind of look like a dress pant and the length is absolutely perfect on me for reference i am five foot one this is what the back looks like i just have it paired with my align tank top completely understand the hype around these pants because they are so comfortable and so flattering i actually i'll show you guys them with the align black tank top and it's just the cutest look okay so Sorry, E10 calls, and I really need to flop my face. Anyways, I've been filming all day. I wanted to quickly jump on and show you guys what I picked up from Lululemon because I'm going to Toronto and then I'm going to London and I'm so shiny. Um, so I wanted to show you guys that before it gets all lost in the shuffle and bustle of packing and everything. I'm gonna go on a walk. I need to leave my house. I need to leave my house because I have not left my house all day and all day yesterday. I literally have not stepped foot out of my house. So it's really a beautiful day. I'm gonna go take Leonard on a walk and then I'm gonna sit my butt down here and edit for the rest of the night. Oh, of course I will leave all of the stuff I mentioned from Lululemon linked down below as well as the size as well. I got everything in a size 4, but I'll just leave everything linked down below. I caught this really cool package in from Commodity and they sent me their Explore kits 
and so we're gonna explore the kits not sponsored I'm gonna give my honest review you guys know if you can see in the back there I'm so in love with fragrances I have an obsession with smelling good a lot of you guys sent me some of your favorites so I don't know what the difference is between the white the black and the gold are is there a difference okay so it turns out it came with a book that explains everything well explains everything this is the discover your exploration kit and this is the discover your archive kit let's discover the exploration kit oh it literally explains it for those who prefer a subtle intimate fragrance and to be noticed only by you and a few you love close no expressive is considered by many to be a perfect balance of longevity and projection and bold there's no modesty when it comes to the bold collection infused with exotic notes these are amplified renditions of their expressive counterpart let's try the uh, middle one i love that they actually have different levels of intensity i tend to go for a very intense perfume but i know a lot of people who are sensitive to perfumes that's why don't know anyone but i've heard people do exist out there that are sensitive to perfumes that would be great for you let's stick to the classic okay book a complex blend of eucalyptus cypress and creamy sandalwood let's see how this goes am i gonna get a headache only time will tell Ooh, this reminds me of santal 33 from Lilabo. Next, we're gonna go with gold. This is um, vanilla, sandalwood, and amber. That sounds delicious. So far, book is was really good. Let me cleanse. I should have brought like coffee beans or something. Oh, that's a really nice vanilla. Okay, whoa, I like that one too. I enjoy. Okay, next we're going on to velvet, which is a gourmand roasted almonds rose petals and black amber let's see i'm so excited Ooh, i like this one too okay you can really smell the rose oh but then the smokiness comes through whoa this took me on a roller coaster of emotions 10 on 10 that might be my favorite dare i say let's see now we're going to milk this is one a lot of you guys said were really good a marshmallow fragrance. I don't really like marshmallow fragrances, but um, it's okay. Skin musk, tonka bean, and mahogany wood. That sounds good. That I can get behind. I'm excited. I'm nervous. Nope, that's it. That. Oh my gosh, this is it. Milk. It has similar notes to Elizabeth and James Nirvana Black. But it's like almost better. And that's my favorite fragrance in the world. Milk, by far the best one so far. Not even a lie. That's heavenly. Oh my god, I see myself buying all of these. Okay, next we're doing paper. A molecular scent. Thanks to Sandalwood and Iso E Super. I like Iso E Super, I think. Reminiscent of linen. Okay, I don't know if I'm gonna like this one. Paper, I don't like the scent of paper. I don't know what that even smells like, but whatever. I also didn't like marshmallow, but look how that went. Oh, wait, wait. I don't really like that one. No, I do like that one. Ow! Oh, that's confusing. I'm gonna need to smell that on my skin. That's a little bit more masculine. Definitely is a skin scent. I see what they mean. Oh, that one's really nice too. Finally, we have moss, which has green scents, bergamot, oak moss, and petit grain. A walk through the woods at dawn. Oh my god. I'm gonna love this one. I already know it. I already know I'm gonna love it. I can't I don't even have to smell it. Oh wow, that smells really expensive. A really rich bougie hotel. Milk is my favorite. I smell these because those were all so good that I have to smell these. There has to be one I don't like. Rain. This one smells a little bit like something you would get at Bath and Body Works, which no offense to that because one of my boyfriend's favorite perfumes I wear is a body spray from Bath and Body Works and it's one of my favorites too. Nectar. This is like a floral person's dream, but I've always said if something is too floral, it kind of smells like BO. Now we're doing whoa, 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 hold on. Now that I get a better scent, my first boyfriend in the entire world. No, I lied. I had my first boyfriend when I was in grade 
but he only lasted a week. Then my first serious boyfriend was in grade 10 with this guy named Peter and he wore this perfume from Dolce & Gabbana and it's crazy how scents can bring you back to a specific time in your life, a specific place, a specific person because this smells identical to that one. That It's crazy how whenever I smell something like that, it just brings me right back to grade 10 and that like whole time in my life. I mean, it's a good scent, but it was never my favorite. Even when he wore it, it wasn't my favorite. I don't love that one. Previously called Whiskey, I was wondering what W star 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 Y meant. Previously called Whiskey, it's a warm spicy scent inspired by American bourbon. I like it. Okay, I don't want to smell it again. And the last one is Leather. I can picture a really sexy man. He maybe he like wears cowboy boots. You meet him at like your local bar after his shift at the farm. But these were really not my cup of tea. These on the other hand were really good. So that was probably not helpful at all. But just know that um, book gold velvet milk paper and moss 10 on 10 but i need to leave this room because i'm getting a crazy headache right now we're doing some fall bacon no cooking cooking we're doing <laughs> <laughs> come on nikki we have some fun things on the agenda today leo's literally just standing there watching us we, I made homemade pasta two nights ago with E10 and it has, I get these obsessions in my head and I haven't stopped thinking about the ravioli I made that night or we made that night. And so we are making the ravioli again. I was like, I absolutely need to share this recipe with everyone. It was a recipe from my own brain. So I'm very, it was like a lasagna ravioli. It's so good. And then I also had a recipe that popped in my brain to make a goat cheese um, mushroom, truffle mushroom ravioli. So we're making both of those. Nikki's not too excited about that. No, I'm excited and we're gonna make it in a mushroom sauce. In a <laughs> mushroom sauce. And um, we're making that in a mushroom sauce and we're also making um, Gigi Hadid's pasta, but not with homemade pasta, oh. box pasta. <laughs> and you might be thinking, why are you making homemade pasta if you're not gonna actually cook it? And just because I don't think that homemade pasta is necessarily worth it, only homemade ravioli. That's my hot take. So I've been a huge fan of Castellano for what's in that glass? Nothing. For a long time, and she came up. She has cookbooks. I actually have her cookbook right like there. Right you there. can see her, and she came out with her own wine. And so I've already tried the red and the white. Oh. I prefer the red. This is actually my third bottle that I drank of her wine. Probably it's good. really good. So we're gonna taste it, and Nikki's gonna taste it. You know when you pour wine, you actually have to always pour the other person first. I don't really care. You can taught me that. Cheers. Just look me in the eyes. Sorry. Good. It's really good. And it's it, light. I like it because it doesn't make you go, you know? Yeah, and it doesn't make you go, <laughs> <laughs> you know? Like, it might make you go, <laughs> no, but you know when we're like really tired from red wine? Oh, yeah. No, this one's like one actually like really good. So plan for tonight. We're going to make the dough. I'm going to make it in a food processor. Never made it in a food processor before, but I made it... <laughs> Sorry, I'm still recovering. From my mystery illness. From my mystery illness. need two cups of double O flour, salt, three eggs, and one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. Two cups of flour and put it in your food processor or you can do it by hand. It's super easy. I actually already did this in a vlog, so I'm gonna try something new today. We don't wanna repeat, keep repeating the same thing over and over, you know? This pasta mixture says to use three eggs and one d one yolk you know how many i used in my last nine why do they have to give their whole life story before they just give me the recipe oh i know four eggs one extra egg yolk which is half i think i put six egg yolks last time like what was i smoking nikki why don't you tell them about your fear of lasagna i don't have a fear of lasagna you have a you refuse I just to eat don't lasagna. like it. I don't like it. Why? What don't you like about it? The best food in the world. I don't know. Honestly, I've just never liked it and it's just not for me. And I mm, can only hope that you'd accept me for that. 
I just don't know if I could be friends with someone who doesn't like lasagna. It wasn't always your favorite food. Yeah, it was. No, it wasn't. What was always my favorite food then? Ham sandwiches. I do love a good ham sandwich. Ham you know sandwiches. What? They actually make fun of me all the time for liking ham. No. As if liking ham makes me weird. Do I always say, why don't you go eat a ham sandwich? You want to get it to the point where it's like not sticky anymore. So now I'm going to just knead it until the gluten is activated. About 10 minutes. You're kidding. No, I swear. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish kneading the dough for the next eight minutes. <laughs> and then after you knead the dough, you need to let it rest for half an hour. So we're gonna get the insides of the ravioli. This is my new favorite gadget. We just grated all the Parmesan in it and then I stuck the mushrooms in it and in one second they were all cut. So. For the filling of the mushroom ravioli, we're gonna first cook these in a pan with some garlic and butter or garlic and oil. And then we're gonna mix it with goat cheese and truffle oil. So I'm just going to put the mushrooms with some oil. And then I think I have some already minced garlic. I'm gonna add some garlic. While the mushrooms were cooking, we saw, wait, my address is on there. Oh, it's on this side? Mm-hmm. While the mushrooms were cooking, we saw that the Lily and Bean Hermes Kelly dupe arrived. Oh, it comes with a dust oh. bag. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it looks identical. Oh my gosh, you guys. It even has the same plastic covering as the Kelly. You get this weird strap, which I don't like. But this is like the same as the Kelly in that it doesn't have, it's not adjustable, which I actually prefer. It looks a little bit more seamless. I have to say, this looks very similar. I think there might be slight differences in the handle, but other than that, look at that. Okay, let's get back to cooking. Okay, so we have our mushrooms. While they're still hot, I'm going to add a full like half block of goat cheese. And I'm gonna drizzle in a good amount of truffle oil to really get that truffle flavor. And we're just going to mix it all together. I could eat it with a spoon. Okay, wait, then for the other mixture, this is even easier. What other mixture? We're doing two? We're doing two raviolis. We are? But we're not we're only eating one of them. It's the lasagna ravioli. Oh, are you just saving it? I'm freezing them. All you need is some ricotta. And then you're gonna take the best pesto was from Costco. The best. And you're gonna take like a good amount of pesto. And then I'm gonna put a little bit. Parmesan, some pepper, some salt, even though this is actually pretty salty already. This is my work surface. This is the sauce ingredients. And all you do is you literally just pull it through. And for ravioli, I don't go all the way to one. What are the other things, like for like? So this one will make linguine and that will make spaghetti. Not as easy as just buying them but no but i promise you the ravioli is worth it so what shape do you think we should do square and then you take like a little are we gonna do triangle yeah sure mm. and then you just take like a little fork and make sure it's all closed and you have a little ravioli. Cute. Okay, so we put some butter, shallots, mushrooms, mushroom stock. Is that what's in there? Garlic. Somewhere? Garlic in a pan. Um, and then we added the ravioli. We're gonna let that cook. And Nikki has all of the stuff for Gigi. Gigi's pasta and the pasta. Okay, so we cooked down a little bit. Then we added a lot of Parmesan and some heavy cream. Nikki added the noodles, some pasta water, and some butter, and a lot of Parmesan. It looks so amazing. Both, I'm unwell. Okay, you could tell that Tony made pasta because I'm look not, at her sweater. I'm not done making 
the ravioli. I still have the other ones, but we're having some Caesar salad from Costco. Okay, here is the finished product. I'm beyond excited. It, everything smells absolutely amazing. Okay, so I'm just here minding my own business, making my perfect ravioli. When all of a sudden, Nikki panics, screams, Tony! She's making Halloween cookies at the moment. And I turn back, and there's a six-foot flame in the kitchen. <laughs> She's just standing there like this. <laughs> I was in shock. And so I grab the parchment paper with my bare hands and run it over to here. And now there's all cookies floating around and I don't know what to do. I'll take a peek in my freezer. So they're frozen. So now I froze them so that they don't stick together in the, in the bag. Now I'm going to just stick these in. And whenever I want these raviolis, I can just pop them in. And you can do this with all frozen, all fresh pasta as well. Do you think if you stuffed one with Nutella and put it in the air fryer, if it would make like a dough? Okay, so I just cleaned the kitchen. Nothing feels as good as having a clean kitchen after cooking a big meal. Like it's so satisfying and I'm trying to clean it at nighttime because I hate waking up to a dirty kitchen. Um, and then we have Mr. Leo over here. Leo, would you like to say hello? Oh, okay. Um, I went through the Zara packages I got. I'm gonna film my Zara haul tomorrow. You guys, that meal was so good, but I need to stop eating pasta. Like, I've just been, been eating so much food recently, so much delicious, amazing food. So to counteract that, to counteract that, I'm going to have where is it where is it i'm going to take my magnesium powder and then i'm also going to have a peppermint tea peppermint tea always helps with my bloating and how bloating bloated i feel this is from i don't know i don't even know where this is from but it's a peppermint tea this i'm going to drink after my tea but i got my new kettle you guys saw I got my new kettle and what I love about it is that it keeps your water at whatever temperature you put it at. So if you're like hosting or whatever, you don't have to keep boiling. Like it will keep your water at that temperature and you can pick whatever temperature you want. By the way, I was gonna ask about my cups. They're from Zara Home. So that's it for me tonight. I'm gonna drink this, um, half my tea, and then I'm gonna get into bed and read my book and go to bed early because there's a big day tomorrow it's a big day tomorrow hello okay so i posted that i used my dyson for the first time in a long time on my instagram the other day and i got a few requests to show a tutorial so i've been loving doing my hair like this i feel like every fall i whip out the dyson and i absolutely I'm so in love with it every time. I'm like, why did I ever stop? My hair is a little bit shorter. I have literally, I think like one pack of extensions in my hair. I'm getting my hair done next week um, in Toronto. We're going to Toronto and I'm going darker, maybe like a smidge darker than this for the fall. And I really like this length also. For a while I looked crazy. I had the longest hair. It was like literally down to my vagina and it was so thick. So, but I've been like liking this more like natural, less done look so i'm going to be using the dyson the bigger barrels i don't even section my hair but the key to this blown out look is to blow dry your hair towards your face now i know that goes against everything i've personally ever said known done but just trust me on this it's what works so you literally just grab a piece of your hair and you're gonna take it so ow what's going on here the way you know you're doing using the right barrel is by looking in the mirror so i want all of the hair to be curled under towards my face and so when i look in the mirror the arrow is pointing down all you do is you turn it on and you wrap your hair and you only go like halfway up your hair and you want it curled down towards your face and that is all you get like a really nice it looks as if you like had a, a blow dry and so these will fall i don't have a good hairspray actually i'm gonna go buy one but 
I heard that if you put mousse on your dry hair before you blow, like air dry it, or dice in it, it holds. So maybe I'll try that too next time. And you just do that around your whole head. See? Nice and easy. And I literally just grab, like, you can grab bigger chunks, smaller chunks. I just grab chunks like that. both and I like the look more of towards your face but you can really do whatever you want so then for the other side that's what we have look how fast that was literally took like three minutes on that side I'm just gonna switch to the other one and do the exact same thing okay so once you're done it'll look like this which looks a little bit crazy if you want them to fall a little bit less you can just leave them like this and they will it'll like eventually fall I actually brush them through so I'll go ahead and just brush it through and then you get that super easy like blown out look the key I find really is putting it towards your face I'm sure it would look even better if you like alternated the way that you did it but for me it's just like i'm too lazy to do that i'm debating like cutting the front pieces even shorter should i do that let's do it you know like it's just hair they're due for a trim Ooh, yeah i like that just like a little pick me up right and this is what the back looks like does this go with my outfit it's my new Lillian Bean bag. Look, you close it, no one knows it's not a Kelly. Who's gonna know? Who's gonna know?